Yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ask exactly the same questions. Yeah, different voice. Yeah. Like a different I'll go by one of those kind of, app, you know, glasses yeah, yeah. and moustache. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the movie, guys. It's just oh, thank oh, you so much. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to begin. I mean, this had the, the biggest opening weekend for any animated film ever in America, which I'm sure you guys have probably have been told already. Um, what do you think it is about this just particular world and this family that we just love so much? The audience has just resonated with so much across the years. Well, I think everyone knows what it's like to be in a family or know a family or have a family, even if it mainly consists of people that have your back or your friends. So I think it's a superhero movie, sort of a distant second, and it's primarily about what family is. And, and uh, uh, everyone can, I think, connect with that. Yeah, I think the characters are really honest portrayals of family. There's a little bit of friction, which makes it real, but when, you know, the, the heat is on, they join together to fight together, and I think that's just really charming. And again, it comes from that family bond. Yeah, I don't know a lot of movies where the, the family are the central heroic unit, you know. It's like, you got the Adams family, but they're, I don't know. <laughs> so I think that that's, there, there's precious few movies that celebrate that idea. And I think if we say family one more time, we get yeah, some we, sort of award. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, I'm 29 years old, so when the first one came out, I was 15. Don't brag. So, I'm sorry. That's right. so, <laughs> we're all older. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, so I was, I obviously Respectful. fell in love with this when I was when I was younger. And I mean, what, what, was it quite a challenge to make this film that will appeal to a new generation of, of kids, and at the same time appease the kind of nostalgia-ridden 29-year-olds? Like I think the the business part of the movie business always likes to think in terms of patterns and things that can be understood and hopefully repeated for so that the next quarter is healthy and I, I just think all of that uh, leads you astray if you start considering what worked the first time versus what will work this time or uh, how audiences have changed or anything you get external and and farther away from what makes movies fun and what makes them magic I think the best way to, to go into any of this stuff creatively is to imagine yourself in a movie theater and imagine what you would want to see when the curtains open. And uh, that's been helpful for me because that's why I got in, in the movie business is to, you know, be in that feeling. Yeah, I mean, we make pictures that we enjoy ourselves, you know. We're our first best audience at, at Pixar. And uh, this film made us laugh and it made us feel things. Um, it wasn't, you know, aimed at any particular external audience. Uh, we think if we like it, then usually it works for the outside yeah. world. Yeah, we don't do anything to exclude children, but we do them, we do them for ourselves, frankly. Yeah. And hope other people enjoy them as well. Mm -hmm. And since, since the first movie, I mean, we've seen the superhero genre explode. I mean, obviously, this predates The Dark Knight, which sort of changed the whole mm -hmm. landscape and face of the superhero yeah. genre. And now, Great since then, movie. we've had Marvel and the kind of the whole MCU. So, I mean, what, what did that do to, to this project, having, that, that, having this genre kind of change face so many times across the last kind of 15 years? Well, for me, it made me less enthusiastic to do it because uh, these things take years to do. And, uh, you know, if you'd asked me, if I thought there were too many superhero movies, you know, two and a half years ago when we started on this thing, I would have said, absolutely, people are going to be sick of them in, in two more years. And uh, so it depressed me for maybe 30 seconds. And then I remembered that the reason I was interested in this idea in the first place was that it explored family dynamics. And that's a much more interesting and inexhaustible subject than superheroes for me. You said family again. I right. did. I, I think <laughs> we're surprised, right? <laughs> uh, and when um, when hiring children, of course, in the original, their voices change, they yes. get deeper. So you had to recast Dash. I mean, what was that? That must have been quite a challenging process to it find a kid with the same vo yeah. voice. As yeah, as it was. And you know, we had a really unique uh, guy in Spencer Fox who did the first film um, because he had a very um, quirky line readings. I would write a line, and he would do it in a way that was unexpected and it, sometimes I was like no it can't be that and after listening to it two or three more times I'd go it must only be that <laughs> you know because it was so unique um, but we went back to um, New York where we found Spencer and got lucky a second time in finding Huck Milner who does the new dash and to me not only does it fit but Huck has his own unique quirkiness that he brought to the part, and I'm 100% as pleased with him as I was with Spencer. So we got lucky. We did, mm -hmm. and it didn't take as long as we thought it would. I mean, it, 
we, we, we thought came it was a, really going to be. We, yeah, we came across uh, Huck pretty pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he was also the one of all the uh, ones that we picked. It wasn't yeah. difficult to figure out. And he was he was um, kind of quiet when we first tested him, mm -hmm. and his quirkiness was there, but he wasn't fully showing it. And so we kind of went on instinct and went, I think he's the one. And then in the first recording session, now that he knew that he had the part, his full personality <laughs> came out, and man, were we right. Although yeah, I don't yeah. think he actually figured out he had the part till about halfway through that first session. Because he was going like, am I, am I going to do this again? Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, you got it, man. You're, yeah, the, you're yeah. the guy. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, he wasn't a pro. I mean, uh, yeah. he, this was the first part he'd really gone for. And then he didn't know if he was going to record with us more than once. I and mean, he was just an utterly charming well, You've guy. got to make a third one now so you can do it again before his voice gets Quick! 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 Ha ha ha. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for that. I'm going to stay sitting right here. I'm doing another one, obviously. All right. Get at least say